Hag Sameach, everybody, and welcome. So we are in the final of the whole long season of holidays, and it's we have arrived, and I'm here with my family, and we have, do you have something special over there, Daniel? We're going to be celebrating our Torah today, and I hope we have lots of families here. We have lots of or Shalom folks here. It's good to see all your faces. Um, in case there are still Zoom novices, wanna make sure that you know how to uh, participate the best. So if you are new to Zoom, one of the keys to this working without too much chaos is that most of us will be muted. And there will be times when we ask you to unmute and participate. So you can just move your cursor and unmute yourself at those times. You also may wanna open up your chat which is a control that you can find on the periphery of your screen. And you might want to toggle between speaker view and gallery view, which can allow you to see either one person at a time or the whole gallery of faces. And so you can toggle between those. That's another control that probably most of you already know about, but just in case not. Um, I think that's all you need to keep going. And um, 
I'm Rabbi Katie, and welcome everybody to Simcha Torah. I'm going to turn things now to Zahava, our education director, who's going to give us a little taste of uh, what tonight is going to be all about. What tonight is all about? Well, we are going to celebrate. We are going to be rejoicing with this Torah, you know, that thing that gives us life and meaning and values and stories and connects us in so many wonderful ways. And I would like to start with a story. You know, I, I love stories. And this story now, it did not happen to me. It's not from my childhood. <laughs> it's a story I heard uh, many years ago and I love it. Uh, it's a story about the melody of the Torah. We are soon enough going to be honored by our wonderful teens who are going to chant for us from the Torah, you know, the Torah portion. And so this story is about that melody. So once upon a time, there was this guy, a secular uh, academic guy that had a good friend, a rabbi, and they used to meet every week to discuss things that's happening in the world and about Jewish uh, topics. And one day, of course, they came to the melody of the Torah. So, the guy was telling the rabbi, tell me, I want to ask you, we talked about so many things, but here we are, we're talking about the Torah. How come you Jewish people, us Jewish people and you rabbis, don't go with the, with the flow, with the changes in the world? Everything is changed. There's new melodies to everything. How come you're stuck with the same melody of the Torah one year after the next? Tell me, rabbi, isn't it something to think about? And the rabbi said, you know what? You're absolutely right. Let me think about it. I'll come up with an answer next week. And as the guy was about to leave, the secular guy, the rabbi turned to him and he said, I have a favor. Can you lend me until next week uh, $50? I really need it desperately. And the guy said, my honor, of course I will do it. Next week, they had a meeting, they discussed. And as he about to leave, the secular person said to the rabbi, he said to himself, the rabbi doesn't mention anything, but he really owes me money. I don't know what to say. And he turned to the rabbi and said, you know, last week uh, I lent you some money. You owe me some money. And the rabbi said, I owe you $50? And he said, rabbi, wh why are you surprised? Yes. Uh, you owe me $50 from last week. And the rabbi said, I owe you $50? And the guy said, don't get too upset. Yes, you owe me $50. And the rabbi said, hmm, I owe you $50. Rabbi, don't you remember? We were talking about the Torah and chanting and you asked me to give you some money. The rabbi looked with a smile and he said, oh yeah, of course I remember. I answered you. But you see, every time I use the same words, but I use different melody. So don't be fooled by the fact that the words can be the same, but the melody, the intention we put in the words, that what counts. And that's why we don't change the melody of the Torah. There is intention there. And there is, uh, as we say in Hebrew, kavana, why we keep it the way it is. So we are today gonna chant ancient, Ancient Melodies from Torah Scroll. Thank you, guys. All right. So, Zahava, did you have a scroll where you are that you could show us? I do, I do. I do. Here we go. All right. So, we are in this pandemic moment, which means we're not going to be able to be in person with the scrolls we would, but Zahava has an actual scroll that she has at home. She's going to show us right now. All right. Beautiful. All right. So that's, that's, is going to be our scroll for the night. And Daniel has another one here. That's one of Orshalom favorites. You want to show us Daniel. So we have two scrolls that are going to be with us. This one is, oh, three. Okay. We have another one here, a tiny one, three different sizes. And, but the one over by you, Zahava is a, a kosher scroll. <laughs> yeah, it is kosher. So what, do you have any, any words about it before we move on? So this is uh, a friend's Torah, Torah scroll, but a former student of mine, when she saw the shape of the cover of the Torah, she had for her bat mitzvah decided from her talents to create this beautiful cover. And she asked me, what is a good Jewish symbol that I liked? And pomegranate comes to mind. 
So she made this, a student, 13 year old. Really, everyone has something to contribute and to give oh, one yeah. another. And I also want to show you another thing that I have here. It doesn't look like much, but it is a yacht. It's made out of wood from Israel. Cute, and huh? it says on it, Ki Adam et Sadeh. Love it, translation. If for, the, for man is Adam et Sadeh, the, the, the uh, a tree of the, of, of the field. Of the field. So this is all of us. You know, we are connections to where we are, to our people, it's and wood, to our family. And, and this is Israel. a wood from Israel, of course. Carved. All right, so we're all set over there. So what we're gonna do for the rest of the evening is we're gonna move through the five books of the Torah in a, a kind of a tour. So each Torah book has different stories, different songs, different um, special qualities, prayers. So we're gonna take a little tour one by one and um, our teens who are with us are going to share with us some of the Torah chanting that they already have offered at their B'nai Mitzvah services. So they're going to give us little highlights as we go through the Torah of uh, the pieces that they uh, that they have from that experience. So we start with the book of Genesis, and I'm going to turn things back to Zahava to tell oh, us about one of the... This is going to be the easiest assignment you guys will have, and it, it will give you uh, really uh, five seconds. I think you can do it. Genesis is all about our ancestors. So we're thinking about of the people uh, of Abraham and Sarah, and of course, even Joseph and all the, the brothers. And we're thinking about Rebecca and Isaac, lots of people. So what is one thing that you have at home that reminds you or that you carry with you as a symbol that you got from your family, from ancestors, for people who came before you? It can be parents, it can be people before. So. You have a few seconds. We won't see you probably in these two seconds. Go grab it fast and we and show it up when you're ready. I'm gonna go do this. All same. right. So we're 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 gonna actually, as you go get these things that remind you of family, we're gonna start playing a video and um, we're gonna have that going on. So some of you will catch all of it, some of you might just catch part of it, but find these objects as we listen. Oh, oh, oh. 
everyone hopefully that was plenty of time to get stuff and uh we would love to um hear from a few of you who got special things i saw bryna got something bryna you want to unmute and just tell us what you got over there um this is uh, my great grandmother who i was named after it says uh, she's 1879, and you know, I never knew. I, I thought it was a runner, but I think it's a woman's talus. And then I have my father's um, written in pencil, uh, my father's bar mitzvah speech, March 10th, 1928. And then I have my, when my parents got married, the B'nai B'rith gave them, you know, candlesticks, and this is for Hanukkah. Beautiful. All right. Someone, I see uh, over there, Diane, do you have something you want to tell us about? Mute. Okay. Thank you. This is my mom and dad. Wait, can't hear you. Unmute. We can't hear you. Sorry. I, oh, okay. There you go. Um, thanks everyone. So it's my mom and dad who have passed, uh, Isaac and Eleanor's Nana and Grandpa Jerry. And then thank God both my sisters are alive. So Isaac and Eleanor's Aunt Jody and Aunt Shelley and myself as a baby. little baby. And I guess my parents must have been tired because you see they felt the need to label who I was. So we <laughs> laughed. <laughs> All right, thank you. So I have uh, my family went to Adam went to share something. This is a bottle of 24 karat gold that I bought in Colorado, and it reminds me of my aunt. All right, and Daniel, did you want to show something over here? Okay. So this is something that. This is something. This is a Lego that my brother built recently, and reminds me of this guy right here. Garden of Eden. All right, this is the Garden of Eden. All right, um, okay, we have one more. This is a photograph of Raja's mother. And so we, are, we, we keep this in our living room and she watches over us. And let's see, does anyone else have one? I see Narisa, you wanna go ahead, Narisa? And Matt also has something. This, this is, um uh from my mother and um it is part of a set that uh of all of her stuff that she split between me and my sister um when she passed and so this is the teapot which i just love and and it's always in my china closet so and i use it so all right and i i heard that matt had one as well yeah, does anybody know what this is? Leather strap, <laughs> wood block, to feel them. To have on the arm. Yeah. So this was my uh, my grandfather, Morris Myers, originally Myers Cusher. 
uh, from Poland that um, he brought over with him early 20th century. All right. So um, any others? One, one more maybe? Oh, I see uh, Miriam. So Doug is holding it up. Um, it's, it's maybe a little hard to see. Um, this is a bracelet of my mother's and it's actually a tree of life. So it's very appropriate for uh, tonight. Uh, it was a special bracelet that she had that um, I ended up with, but it's a tree of life for the Torah. Beautiful. All right. So thank you everybody who shared. And if you have, um, you know, you can keep those objects close by as we move through our evening. And we're going to now enter into uh, a bit of more in-depth exploration of Torah with some chanting. Um, so if you have a talit, you can put it on now. Um, with the blessing, Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kitshanu B'Mitzvot Havet Zivanu Lehitatev Batsitzi. And um, I'm going to ask Eleanor and Isaac to lead us in the Torah blessing. Uh, what page is it on Kedusha? I don't think you received one. Three ninety nine in the in the um, red books. We have a different one. Oh. Well, which book are you working out of? We have like Here, this guys. one. Oh, the Brandeis one. You want to go? Yeah. yeah. Is there a section about Torah? Um. Can you can you fix it? Mm -hmm. Can you fix uh, All right, we're we're grabbing ours over here. Adam, come on. Yay. Okay. Can you move over so you guys find this? All right, sorry about that. We'll find it. Hold on. Page 67, 67. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. All right, okay. Okay, three, two. Barahu et Adonai Hamvarach. Barahu et Adonai Hamvarach Le'olam Ba'ed. A baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher bachar vanu mikol hamin, v'na'atan lanu et torato, baruch atah Adonai, notein ha-toro. Amen. And now I'd like to call Eva to chant a bit of ex uh, Genesis for us. Hi, I'm Eva. Um, and my part that is by Gosh, from the first book of the Torah, Genesis. It is the climax of Joseph's story, in which he decides to forgive his brothers for all the terrible things they did to him. Ve'ata lo'atem shalachtem oti heina ki ha'elohim v'aisi meini Lafaro, Ola Adam, Laho Beto, Umasheo, Bohol Eretz, Mitzrayim. Woohoo! Thank you! All right! So, just a tiny little taste of the book of Genesis. Now we're going to move to the next book of Torah, which is what's the book after Genesis? Exodus. Exodus full of so much juicy material. And actually the two teens that we have reading from, Gen uh, from Exodus are gonna read parts after a lot of the stories we think about when we think about the story of the plagues and so on. So first we have Simon.
my name is Simon, and my first shot is Mishpa Team, and it's about rules. Amen. Velmoshe Amar Alel Adonai Ata Veharon Nada Vehavihu Veshivi Mizikne Israel. All right, thank you. So um, we are going to go to one of the highlights, the liturgical highlights, prayer highlights that's found in the book of Exodus. So there's this part of the book where if we look at the open scroll, you see a, a very interesting format on every single scroll. It looks like little bricks or some say the waves of the sea of reeds as it parted and the Israelites went uh, on their journey from slavery to freedom. So it said, it's called the song of the sea. It has many pieces that we use in our liturgy. And the one that we know best and have so much fun with Edward Shalom is of course the Micha Mocha. So we're gonna just sing that as a highlight right now. Here we go. La 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ay ya la 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 ya la 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 ay la 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 ya la 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 mi kamo kha bali madona mi kamo kha nedaba kores no rati hi lo to se fele. No rati hi lo to se fele. Ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 ay ya la 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 ya la 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 ay ya la 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 ya la 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 la. Right. So now we're going to move back to diving into some more listening to highlights from the book of Exodus. And we turn next to Isaac. Yeah. Uh, Isaac, here. Here, Isaac. We'll take that off. So tell us your portion's name, if you can, and, and, uh, and then we can hear you. Uh, my portion is called Tetzave, and I think it's about the holy light, the near Tamid, I remember. Yeah, and then the first line is, uh, Amen, Veta, Tetzave, Pene Israel, Baihualecha, Shemen, Zai, Zach, Katit, La Maor, the Hello, Neil, Tamid. Wonderful. So reminding us about the, um, the light, the Nair Tamid, the eternal light in the sanctuary space. Thank you, Isaac. All right. So um, I'm going to invite us to uh, put things in the chat now. So if you have your chat open, or if you don't, you can open it up. And as we um, continue to think about the book of Exodus, I want you to just write into the chat what one of two things either what is your favorite part of pesach passover the holiday that remembers the exodus um or you can talk about um why freedom is important so that one might be more than you want to chat it to the chat bar um but certainly favorite highlights from the holiday of pesach that remembers all the stories of exodus 
And um, we have one more. So I'm seeing wonderful things coming up. Matzah, matzah ball soup, all kinds of uh, highlights. Manishtana. Um, so keep thinking about it. Malachayam, all kinds of fun things that we do to remember the stories. Oh, Daniel, you have one. Can we do both? Do both what? Of the things that we want. Can we do both why freedom is important and what we like most about Pesach? Okay, do you have something about why freedom is important? And about Pesach. Okay, time. go ahead. Yeah. I like about freedom is important. Mm hmm Because if you don't have that much freedom, you can't get good jobs and then you can't have a good life. Okay, and thank you. And what what about Pesach? What's your favorite part of Pesach? Matzah brai. Matzah brai. Okay. Do you have a favorite part, Adam? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part? My favorite part about Pesach is probably the Seder. The Seder. All right. I think that's probably something a lot of people oh, yeah. feel gonna, the same way I have about. Another idea. Okay, one more and then we're going to move on. Go ahead. The Afi Komen. Oh, the Afi Komen. Of course, the Afi Komen. The Afi Komen. How could that not be? So. Um, we have one more teen who's going to read another highlight of uh, from the book of Exodus. So, Samara, take it away. Hi, I'm Samara, and um, the name of this portion is Truma, which means donations or gifts. In this parsha, God gives Moses precise instructions on how to collect materials and build the Israelites' first ever sanctuary or mikdash. Amen. By the bear, Adonai El Moshe Lemor. Da bear, El Bene Israel, Ve Kuli Truma, Met Kol Ish, Asher, It Venu Libo, Tiku et Trumati, Vezot Hateruma, Asher Tiku Meitam. Beautiful. And I love how much you remember the content, too. That's so great. Um, well done. All right, so now I'm going to um, take us into the next book of Torah, Leviticus. And if you've done Torah study before, you will know that Leviticus is one that I find challenging. It's a lot about the world of the priests, but there is a, a something, a nugget at the center of it, which is so important. And I'm going to tell you that while standing on one foot. And I'm going to invite everybody to stand on one foot. So let's all stand up. You can stand on one foot. One foot. One foot. I'm going to tell you a quick story about this. So there was a man who once came to Rabbi Hillel and said, Rabbi Hillel, tell me the whole of Torah while standing on one foot. And Hillel basically said, in other, in so many words, Be'ahavta l'areecha kamocha. Love your neighbor as yourself. Now go and study. Okay, everyone, you can go sit down again. So that line, Adam's pointing out that I'm fudging it. I, he actually said, what is hateful to you, don't do to your friend or to another person. But same idea you can find right in the heart of the book of Leviticus, right in the heart of the scroll. Ve'ahavta l'reacha kamocha, love your fellow human as yourself. And indeed, if we don't get that one, then what's the whole point of the rest of the Torah? Daniel, you had something, yes? And also, that's not the full story, but let's try to make this over. That's right. It's, you know, there's a longer version of that story. That is true. So you can keep chatting in the chat if you like. How do you enact that mitzvah? How do you live out the commandment to love your neighbor as yourself? Any ideas you have for that? So we'll keep that going as we move into the next book, which is the book of Numbers, and Zahava is going to teach us a little bit about that. Meantime, we're looking to see here what people are writing. You guys are amazing. Uh, faster than me about thinking about Ve'ahavta. So I brought with me an uh, art specialist to take us through the next book, which is really in the wilderness. It's about journeys. Ravi? So when I teach art history, I am going to do something with you today that is similar. So just, you could close your eye or you could eyes or you can just do it with open eyes. Imagine that you are in front of a canvas that shows you the wilderness and the desert and the walking in the desert as the people of Israel are coming out into freedom. freedom. So 
but don't just stand away from it. Jump into this canvas and imagine, what do you see? What do you hear? What do you smell? And how do you feel? So think about it. You're in, in this desert, in this big canvas of wilderness, endlessness, but you have a purpose. <laughs> what are some of the senses that are awakening it of smell of sight of hearing of sound and, we and wanna also open it, yeah. how do you feel and we want to open it to maybe hear from a few people about it because wilderness is not just in the torah <laughs> and the journeys are not left behind they are with us and they are in front of us so let's see if anybody can tell us how, what it feels like, what they smell, maybe even taste <laughs> you know, on this journey in the wilderness. Anyone just unmute yourself. Can't see every person. I know the kids jumping right there, thank God. But I need from other people to hear. Let me see if I see anyone raising their hand. Just, just unmute yourself, please. Rabbi Meira. Rabbi Meira, yes. Um, I feel relief that nobody is chasing me, but I also feel a little scared because I've been in the Sinai Desert and <laughs> it's big and there's not a city in sight for a long, long while. So I'm feeling freedom and a little scared. Thank you. Anyone else again, just do unmute yourself and share with us. We have Bryna. Um, I see, um, now I'm gonna cry. Um, <laughs> I see singing and, um, and children dancing all together. Wow. That's great. So we had a child next to Rabbi Katie who wanted to say something since you are seeing the children. <laughs> Anyone there? <laughs> Yes, yes. But I think they both okay. Boys, which uh, depending on what kind, depending on what time of day, holla coming from the sky. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the one of the best parts of oh, the best thing. Um, mine is that you don't really have like as much like here you have a lot more restrictions just than just the laws of being kosher and the Ten Commandments. And there you don't have as many restrictions. Mm -hmm. A lot of freedom in the wilderness. Uh, the wilderness. So, yeah, wow. Beautiful. Thank you guys. Beautiful. All right. Well, so one of the, um, one of the, oh, let me get here. Um, one of the uh, stories that's in the book of Numbers, I see you, Daniel, but we're moving on. One of the stories is a story that I'm not going to tell the whole story right now, but it gives us a line of a prayer that we still use to this day. And that is Elna Rifana La. In fact, I'm going to write it here in the chat. Elna Rifana La which is, please God, please heal her. It's the words that Moses prayed on behalf of his sister Miriam when she was stricken with leprosy. And that's a very juicy story for another time. But right now we're gonna use those words and we're gonna pause in this tour to pray for healing. So you can go ahead and put names into the chat of anyone you have in your heart who you know needs healing. It can be from an injury, it can be from an illness, it can be from grieving people who have had losses it can be people you know personally it can be people who are at a further distance people that you hear about in the news those who are suffering from covid those who have lost loved ones to the pandemic or other of the numerous catastrophes we're having in our world um so go ahead and put those names into the chat i'm going to read through our healing list which takes some time but remember each of those people is a whole world so we, we fill our hearts with our prayers for healing as we hear their names and see them come up on the chat. And then we'll sing together that same line from the book of Numbers. Brandy Jackson, Chaya Goldabat Leia, Mikey Pauker, Herschel Mayer, Ben Kalman Udevora, Michael McCullough, Powell Hauser, Kevin Thaw, Carol Langbort, Ellen Jones, Jed Minoff, Devora Batara Rafael Virachel, Aiden Pastor, Rebecca Braun, Mary Ellen Braun, Fred Braun, 
Maureen Laidley, Dennis Collins, Marty Schwartz, Charles Small, Gary Cohen, Audrey Rosenheim, Tara Trudell bought John Ballou, Susan Levine, Janet Beach, Michael Reddy, Sunshine Mugrabi, Varghese George, Harry Chesley, Barbara Olasoff Rothbaum, Misha Holm, Shirley Jaslow, Karen Brenner, Rosalie Weiner, Judy Bush, Roberta Sachs, Brian Copeland, Betty Garcia, Delia Prado, Catherine Diamond, Madeline Chappelle, Gabriella Schultz, Beth Bird, Ralph Nieder Westerman, Sharon Richardson, Danny Weiss, Jonathan Yitzhaki, Lisa Dion, Ricky Moskowitz, Henry Glassman, Sam Geffner, Tom James, and Phyllis Thurm. And we also add a number of names of those who are in uh, harsh encounters with our immigration system, uh, people who are being accompanied by Ur Shalom members um, as a part of our sanctuary efforts. We pray for the healing of Jaime, Belisa, Jose, Kylie and Lark, Diego and Jose Eduardo. And actually I'll say um, Jose, this name that we've been saying for so long, was recently released from detention in part because of the efforts of some of our members to raise bond money. Um, of course, he had to be eligible for bond. So we're just so thankful for that um, step on the path to healing that he's, he's received. So again, just gather up all our intention, bring all those names into your heart. And we're going to sing El Na Rafana La with the melody that uh, David gave us a few years ago. So if you know it, you can sing along with me. El na refana la refana la el na refana. in need of healing receive healing of body mind and spirit amen so i think we're ready to move into the final of the five books of moses deuteronomy devarim and as you may know there's a very special place in the torah scroll um, that shows us where there's another prayer that's the most important prayer so it's taught that appears in the book of De Deuteronomy. It's so important that it has um, it has a special sign on it. So if you're looking quickly through a scroll, it's something, no page numbers, it's hard to find your way. There's a, a sort of a signal right there in the way this prayer is written that will tell you um, that this is important. And that is that the letter Ayin from the word Shema and the letter Dalid from the word Echad are big. So when you look at the scroll and you're kind of going through really quick, you see this giant iron and this giant dalid, and you know, oh, I've arrived at a very important place. And what is that important place? It is the, the words Shema. of the Shema, the Shema. So we are going to pause and sing the Shema together. And if you have a tali with you, you can wrap it around yourself. You can wrap it around the people around you. 
We're going to make use of our Talit in a minute. Um, but let's uh, also get our hands ready because we need our hands for this prayer. So we're going to sing. We're going to use our hands. I think most of you probably know how it goes, so I'm not going to teach us. We're just going to go for it. And um, please join me. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad 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 One more time Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu going to have our final teen chanting highlight for with um, our, a piece of Deuteronomy. I'm turning things over now to Eleanor. Hi, I'm Eleanor and my parsha is Shof Team and it's about justice. So, Tzedek, 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 Leman, Tichye, Ferishta, Eta, Aret, Asher, Vehye, Elohei, Netanach. All right. Love. That's a wonderful place for us to uh, land with our last chanting. Tzedek, 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 justice, justice shall you pursue. Something that is dear to Orshalom for sure. And that is, you know, it's not Ve'ahav Delorecha Kamocha, but it is a close second as, uh, you know, a principle that captures a lot of what the Torah is about. So, um, Isaac and Eleanor, can you locate that Torah blessing one more time and uh, lead us through the closing blessings? And everyone who has a tali, you can, um, you know, wrap it around yourself and, and, and locate it because we're going to give everyone a blessing very soon meeting that. Uh, Baruch Adonai Baruch Lelam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamin Benatan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen. And keep going with the last one. So we need that closing blessing. That's what we need now. The, the Baruch Atah Adonai. Baruch Atah Adonai. Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Asher Natan Lanu Torah Temet. Bechaye Olam Nata Betochenu. Baruch Atah Adonai. Noten HaTorah. Amen. Thank you. Beautiful. So everyone, if you have a Talit, if you have some kind of um, family object, you can bring it close and wrap it. If you have a tali, you can wrap it around everybody. Um, if you have an heirloom or something that you, you took earlier um, when we gathered things, you can bring it close to you. I'm going to give everyone a, a Misha Berach here. All right. My boys are, you know, complaining about the scarcity of this single tali for everyone, but I know we can share. We can share. Ready? 
Misha Bera Havotino Raham Yitzchak Biakov Emotenu Sarawif Karachavlea. May the one who blessed our ancestors Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless all of us today who have gathered to celebrate Torah, who have connected to each other and remembered our ancestors, remembered the prayers, the songs, and some of the stories and the values that our people have carried for thousands of years. May we be blessed to be um, receivers of the light of Torah, and may it sustain us in times of darkness. May we be blessed to cultivate the tree of life, um, to take care of the Torah that we have received, and also to find new changing flowers and fruits and foliage that are coming forth in our moment. May we be blessed to be innovators and interpreters of this Torah in ways that will help us to make sense of our world and to make meaning in our lives. May we be sustained by Torah and may we sustain the Torah and may it be a path of joy and meaning and connection. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. So I'm going to turn things back to Mikey as we sing our way out of our close encounter with Torah. Shalom, 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 shalom. Et Chaim Chi Lama Chazim Kim Ameto Mecha Merushar Et Chaim Chi Lama Chazim Kim Ameto Mecha Merushar Shalom 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 it is a tree of life to them that will fast to it and all of its supporters are happy it is a tree of life to them that will fast to it and all of its supporters are happy shalom shalom it is a tree shalom shalom a tree of life shalom shalom it is a tree shalom 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 Okay, everyone. So now we're going to, um, oops. Can you hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. I had a weird message from Zoom. Okay. So um, we are going to, we've concluded our Torah to tour. And I want to just um, say a big thank you. Let's, let's all turn on our gallery view for just a second. Everybody turn your gallery view on. And let's just look at all of our faces and give our um, for Shalom appreciation to all of our teens who are so inspiring. And, you know, my prayer for all of you is that you continue to find ways to connect to that Torah, whether it's your portion or another piece of Torah. I hope that you can um, keep connecting to it and to each other and to our community as you go beyond, well beyond the years of B'nai Mitzvah. Um, and uh, so... I have gathered Havdalah stuff. If you have Havdalah stuff in your home, it's time to get it now. We're going to say goodbye to Shabbat, but we're not going to say goodbye to the holiday because tomorrow is the second day of the holiday. So this is a unique kind of Havdalah. Instead of the, the final blessing is not going to be Ben Kodesh Lechol, which is what we usually say, separating between holy time and sort of ordinary time. Instead, we're going to say the blessing being Kodesh, holy time, Le Kodesh, and other holy time. So we're going to say goodbye to the holy time of Shabbat and continuing hello to the second day of this Chag, of this holiday. Um, so I'm going to ask my family to light the candle and turn off the light over here. Sure. So, doing one for turn. Yeah. Stay. All right. Otherwise, we're, we're doing some candle coaching here to make sure we don't have a problem. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Daniel is lighting for us. 
and we can start singing as he does. sip of that juice or wine or whatever libation you have and we're going to take our light and extinguish it but remembering that we're continuing the the light of the holiday one more day Shavuato, Shavuato, 
Tov, everyone, and Chag uh, Sameach one more day, and may we all be blessed with a year of transformation and healing ahead for us, for as individuals, as as families, as community, as our nation, as our planet. May this year that has just begun, fifty seven eighty one, be a year of so much tikkun on every level, and. Uh, I'm going to hold things open here for a little schmoozing if you like, but we have come to the conclusion of our Simchas Torah celebration for this year. And uh, thanks again for everyone who led a piece of it to all of our teens, to Miriam and Douglas and Mikey, to Lillian and Nate, our Zoom guru who's been with us through these holidays. Thank you, everybody. You can feel free to unmute and chat and fill things with chaos. I just want to say thank you again to our wonderful, wonderful teens. You know, at this time of the year with um, elections coming up, uh, it's more obvious and more needed, your voices and your participation in any way you can. Thank you so much. I want to remind you, you have a Teen Hub program this coming Wednesday with me. And I want to highlight one more um, family here. Rabbi Katie, you know, you've been sitting, that's your job, thank you. But your children, that have been with you through all services and participated and gave their words. And I mean, I always, I'm sitting here and saying how wonderful they are. Uh, they don't have to be there, <laughs> but they are. And they are part of, you know, we see them grow, but we see how they, their mind grow and how they contribute so much. So I want to say thank you, really. It's, we don't take it lightly. Thank you guys. No, Raj is hiding. And Raj is hiding. There is Raj is here. He's just, he's just off screen. <laughs> Hi, Raj. It's just nice to see you guys. Nice to see the families that we have here. I don't know. I'm just filled. Feel, feel, my heart is full. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Sahaba and Bobby, such a treat to have both of you as a part of tonight and to hear about the melody, melody of Torah and, and to be, Zahava, thank you for um, reaching out to our teens and recruiting and organizing us all so that we could all have contributions from all ages tonight. And uh, just thank you to everyone. Thanks. I'll just keep gushing here. Thank you for everybody who's been part of Absolutely. all of this whole season. So many, so many. Uh, of our faces and voices have, have um, been important in making our holidays sacred this year. And it's been wonderful to see each other, to, to all together create and co-create this completely new thing that we've done this year that's never been done before of high holidays on Zoom. Here we are inventing, reconstructing a whole new spiritual form. So thank you everybody who's been a part of that. Okay. Yeah. Feel free to unmute and jump in if you'd like anybody. Talking about things from our family, I forgot to mention that this talit that I've been wearing all along used to belong to my grandfather. Wow. So I've got that connection there too. And Mikey, speedy recovery. I know you're still uh, hanging in there, but we're sending you our love and our healing thoughts. <laughs> Thank you. Chag Sameach, everybody. Chag Sameach. Chag Sameach. Lillian, you had a good time? On your trip? <laughs> Sorry, I know some other people can't unmute, um, but uh, if you aren't a co-host, you can't unmute yourself right now. But um, thank you, everybody. It was so good to see everyone for all of these weeks. And I look forward to seeing you all with my own eyes in person sometime soon. All right, everyone. Lila Tov, thank you, and hope to see you soon. Oh,